What's up, YouTube? What's up, family? Everybody, welcome back. You see that thumbnail? Did you see that thumbnail? My soul squad. You know, somebody told me, I say, what's up, YouTube? I'm going to say, what's up, soul squad? Welcome back to the kitchen, guys. That thumbnail, what look amazing. That what chicken pot pie is amazing guess what it is cold outside it is snowing in places it shouldn't be snowing and we want to get warm right so let me warm you up with something hearty delicious and quick that you and your family was that you and your family gonna love guess what it's chicken pot pie it's done my way in my kitchen today let's cook <music> do I'm gonna turn my stove on because I'm gonna throw in let the pan get hot avocado oil but guess what I got some onions to chop up the go in this pan got that on a medium high um, for this recipe you're gonna need what I am using pie crust I have a chicken pot pie video oh about four years ago um, but it's time to make another one. I, I made my own homemade crust, but this time it's about the filling. It's about being quick and easy, get in the kitchen, getting out, but still being good and delicious. Mixed veggies, corn, whatever you got, corn and peas and carrots. I have what I'm using in my refrigerator. You guys remember the stir fry? I buy big things, a bulk, so I got some left. You're going to need an onion, as much onion as you want. You're going to need some chicken. I boiled some chicken right here. I got some chicken thighs that I shredded up, boiled, seasoned, shredded up. And got my cream of chicken. And also got my potatoes right here that I already cut up and boiled. Let boil for about maybe 15 minutes because they're going to cook about 50 minutes in the oven. And of course, you're going to need what? Some heavy cream and some pie shells. I got my pie shells still in the refrigerator because I want them to stay chilled until I actually, until I'm actually ready to um place the filling in. Grease getting hot, you know me. I I'm not a good onion girl, but when it comes to a recipe, if it need it, I'm going to use it. Sometimes depends on if I'm eating it, and since I'm not eating this chicken pot pie. pie it's for the um, boys for their lunch because, yeah, this is lunch. You know, if I make a chicken pot pie, I need at least three of them, right? So, I'm only making this one small one for their lunch. And it's for them. It's not for me, so they love onions. So, I say I better go in with the onions, you know. And this, because remember, food is all about flavor, making it taste good, and everything. So, yeah, so chop them onions up. As small as you like them, as big as you like them. I should have been smaller, shouldn't I? Oh, my son said no. Again, see, it's not for me. <laughs> so, I'm going with for them. And this is like a quarter of an onion. It's not even a half an onion, you guys. It's like a quarter of an onion. I didn't even break off a big piece of this onion. But it's going in this chicken pot pie. Again. If you love, you know your family, you know what they like, they like a lot of onions, you know, hey. But you don't want to overpower your food either. Because you know, onions are strong, especially regular yellow onions and stuff. They're very strong. I'm not even going to put all these onions in here. But they're going in here. I think that's just a little bit too much. I'm going to turn the stove down to a medium low. And again, you know they're going to saute. There you go. And that's all the onions I'm going to use. Just like, you might as well say I used all of them, but I really didn't. <laughs> Got a little half a handful left over here. And I'm going to let these just cook up. So maybe like, oh, my son said, put them all in. He wanted them all. He said, put them all in. <laughs> he used his hands. <laughs> okay. Guess what? I'm putting them all in. Yeah, I'm finishing the knife. Thank you. I'm going to let these just cook. Ooh, I'm about to fall, y'all. For a good five minutes. When it comes to the chicken, I use five chicken thighs. 
Again, I'm making something small. I use five chicken thighs. You can use chicken breasts, chicken legs, pull the skin off. I use um cooked it with the skin on in the bone, season it, a um, little bit of um chicken broth or chicken stock to give it some flavor into the meat. And then I let it cool off, peel the skin, peel the bone, and just did what I had to do. And I got my chicken sitting right here. But I got my onions cooking. I just want them like to get heated up, you know. So they they gonna cook in the oven. And they'll get more solid. This pot pie can cook what? 350, my man. You know that this sun hit the oven. We gotta preheat your oven. 350 bake. Start. Yes, do a countdown. Let your oven preheat to 350, guys. So cook 40 to 50 minutes in the oven until go to brown. But guess what? I'm gonna let these cook a few more minutes. Come back. We're gonna put all this stuff together. Okay, guys, guess what? The onions is doing their thing. Now it's up to you guys. Um, I would say whenever I'm doing stuff like this, stir fries or chicken pot pies or um, shepherd's pie. I might make a video doing that soon. Shepherd's pie. I always use what? Frozen veggies. I just think when you use canned veggies, drain the juice off. They, 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 they solve it. As much vegetables as you like, guys. Remember, this is your chicken pot pie. I think that's enough. It's like maybe a cup and a half. And what we're going to do is we're going to let that cook with the onions. They're frozen. So they got to cook down some. You know, so this is about maybe five to six minutes. Not that long. Again, all this stuff is going in the oven for 50 minutes. We're just making the filling. Okay. So I'm going to place the top on here. This is still cooking on a medium. And I'm going to let this come to a simmer. It's on a medium high. I'm going to let that come to a simmer. I'm going to do at least about five or six minutes on the veggies. Then we're going to add everything into the pot. And you guys can see what the filling is going to look like. Thick, creamy, delicious. Yes, chicken pot pie. It is cold outside. It's cold somewhere. These back in the freezer for what? Another meal. All right, guys. Let's check on our veggies. Ooh, look at that. They ready. Look at that, them onions mixed in there. Mm. Going in with my what? Chicken. I did four chicken thighs, guys. I mean, five chicken thighs that I just boiled and peeled. Just because I'm making a small chicken pot pie. And it was enough. Look at that chicken. More than enough chicken. And next, look at that. We're going to stir it all up together. I think it could use more veggies, but guess what? I'm not eating this. My son said that's enough veggies. So yeah. So I'm going in to turn the stove down just a little. On like a medium low. Yeah. Got my cream of chicken. Some people use cream of celery, cream of mushrooms, cream of everything. I just like using straight cream of chicken. I got two 10 ounce cans. Are these 10 ounce? Oh, I almost dropped it. Yep, two 10 ounce cans that I'm going to use. And yes. Now, I do have an extra can in case it's not enough. I'll use three. But I think, um, because this is not a lot of cream of chicken, I think these two 10 ounce cans would do us justice. Remember, my kitchen, my way, your kitchen. Your way. If you want to add a can of cream of mushroom along with this, um, you can. But I'm this is the way I'm doing it today. Remember, you want to season this. Once you stir everything up in there, guys, you're gonna season it. Let me stir this up. I'm just gonna stir my. Look at that. Ooh. You're just stirring, stirring it all up together. Again, you want it thick. You don't want it too runny. I might use my third can. I don't know for sure. But now this is when you're going to add in what? Your potatoes. The potatoes. I use three small potatoes. I diced them up, 
I boiled them. Not a lot of potatoes, just enough. So when they bite into it, they know, ooh, it's potatoes in here. What else in here? Right? Looking good. I'm going to go in with my heavy cream. Not a lot. I'm going to do maybe a couple of tablespoons at a time because you don't want to over pour. Because you don't want to make it too runny. You know what I'm saying? At least if you don't put a whole, a whole lot in it, you can always add more. But if you put too much in it, oh my goodness. But this is looking good, y'all. Chicken pot pie. I don't need another can of cream of um cream of chicken. At this point, again, cream of mushroom, cream of celery, whatever you want. I'm going in with what? With my seasoning. A little bit of pepper. Some garlic powder. You want everything to be nice and flavorful. Yeah, I'm just loving my little seasoning thing. Onion powder. Instead of having all those spoons that I showed you guys, I just use one spoon to do what you need to do. And then we're just going to do what? Stir it all up together. Look at that. And this is your filling. Quick and simple. I'm going to add a little bit more cream to it. And loosen it up just a little bit. And I'm going to let this simmer. I'm going to let it simmer about five minutes. Let it just come together. But this is my pot pie filling. You can't go wrong with something like this. Nice and hearty and filling and tastes good. Go ahead and mercy. I'm going to put the top back on this and let it simmer about five or six minutes. While I'm doing that, I'm going to clean up the mess and pull out those pie crusts. Oven is already ready, preheated. Okay, guys, this is ready. Look at this. I'm cutting this off. It's nice and thick. Mmm, and I already taste it. It don't need any more seasoning. Actually, I got too much for the pot pot that I'm using. So somebody could take some biscuits, eat this with a biscuit like a soup on the side. But look, look at this, y'all. Y'all always say count of this. One of my shells. Look at it. But guess what? It happens when you're cooking. So we're going to make it work. We're going to do what we got to do. We're going to do what we got I need a ladle instead of just... Well, I could do it like this. But you know, the bottom of this pan it might get too hot. I don't know what I want to do first. I want to poke some holes so the bottom of it don't puff up. Poke you got some holes in it so when it bake, it don't puff. It get air in it. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I need a ladle. I'm not strong enough in this pan now. I need something that's going to scoop it up. The ladle. We'll be right back. This is what I need, y'all. This is what I need just like this. It's going to be nice. Look at that. That feeling. It smells so good. Look at the potatoes. We recording, boy. Young man. Look at that, y'all. Mmm, that's gonna be nice and filling. And guess what? Ooh, it smells so good. If you got some extra, like look at this pan. I want to get me some more, um, another, um, some more pie crust. Because guess what? We got extra right here, y'all. This thing is filled. It smells good. Now. You're going to watch me try to work a miracle with this pie crust because that's what we do in the kitchen. Okay? We're going to try to work this miracle. I'm going to take this one off. Come on, baby. Under mama. And I'm going to lay it on there. Just like that. <laughs> Look at that. And pinch it together. Just like that. 
when that pie crust. Oh yeah, that's 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 got that that's the egg wash. They don't come yet. Take go my granddaughter in the background singing. <laughs> and look at that y'all. You gonna make it work. Cause that's what we do when we cook it in the kitchen. Woo! Now I got all this side to do. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, look at this. I might as well do it like that. You can tell that's the crust part. Okay. We gotta work it out, y'all. We getting this pie made, honey. We gonna get this made. Look, look at my phone. It never fail. I hate when my pie cuts do this. Uh, we got this. I think we make you do it. No. No, it's not oh. I'm trying to pinch it together, y'all. Oh. Now, what do we say? But well, look at this piece we got right here. And I don't got no more packer. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm taking all the little bits and pieces that came on. My son, they got some right there. <laughs> he said, we gonna make this thing work. Y'all, we gonna pull it together. He said, they got a piece right there. Oh, they got a piece right there. We gonna pull it together. I think we did it, y'all. How you gonna see this later? Oh, he got a little piece hanging from right there. How you gonna see us later? Alright. I'm trying to make it work with my broken up back, Russ. Okay. Now, how y'all think that look? <laughs> it did okay, right? Okay, I got my egg wash and my water. Remember, I told you guys. I got to get my, um, I'm going to use my hands real quick. Just to cut. Get my egg wash on here. We want to make it get golden brown around the edges. Yes. And yes, she washed her hands. And yes, you don't have to use your hands, but I'm using mine. My family, my kitchen, my way. Just got to get that egg wash from here. I got me a brush on order. There we go. Oh! Look at her. There we go, y'all. Now, let me get a little knife. Put a slit at the top so that when it bakes, it can breathe. Hand me that yellow knife. Okay, guys, I'm just going to slit the top like that. Like make an X. So, it can steam. And we're going to put that in the oven on a cookie sheet. Oh, my poor pie crust. But hey, they're going to eat it. It's going to be edible. In the oven, 350 for 40 to 50 minutes. When we come back, this thing is going to be done. And hopefully it turned out beautiful. <laughs> okay, so, so I guess what? The house smelled good. It's been 50 minutes, 350. This chicken pot pie is done. What I forgot to show you guys is that I took a fork. You see the ridges right here? Go around the ridges, son. I took the fork and smashed it around so that all the juices and everything could stay in. Hey, look, my pie crust came apart, but guess what? You know what you do. You work with it, right? So, let's see. You, I don't cut it like a pie. This is a chicken pot pie. Let's take that um spoon, guys, and just... Dig in. Oh, it smells so good. Just dig all up in there. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. And it, oh, it smells good. Ooh. Mm. Who 
want the first bite? Do you guys want the first bite? Yes. That looks good, man. I don't know what to say. Look, get crossed. It came out good. I love it's not too runnery. runnery. <laughs> it's not too loose. It's got a nice um, thickness with it. It's going to stick to the stomach. Yeah. My chicken pot way. My chicken pot pie. My kitchen my way. Your kitchen your way. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified. Uh, up tomorrow. Somebody asked me to do. Uh, um, come on. Go to ask me to do. A turkey burger. So Wednesday video, I am going to do a turkey burger the way I make it here at home. I hope it helps someone out. Until next time, guys, I am out.